So I talk a lot about the robot game and I, it, I have a lot of fun, but the other part of First Lego League is the core values and the, which by the way, I think are the most important thing ever in First, the core value. If you haven't seen my how to win First Lego League video, uh, click up here somewhere and, and watch watch that video i talk about the core values and how important they are and how how i just think they are the best things ever but there's judging on the core values and there's judging on the robot design and there's robot uh, uh judging on the on the project and and how do you prepare for that how do you answer questions and how, how do you practice that we're we're going to talk about that right right now. So uh, there are a couple different things and I'm gonna break this down into uh, robot design and, and project and core values. Um, but I'm gonna talk about uh, core values first. Now, uh, with core values, it is in everything that you do. It's in the robot game, it's in the project, it's in having team meetings, it's in having uh, a team party. It, I mean, it's literally core values is in everything that you do. Now, the six core values are listed in the engineering notebook uh, for you to see there's discovery and inclusion and innovation and teamwork and impact and fun. There's a spot where you can write in or, or type in if you're using the interactive one or online, why they're important to you or, or what you did to develop these skills as a team or as an individual or as a, a, a group of young learners. I always think it's fun to do some sort of activity that has nothing to do with Lego or, uh, or anything like that, that that really builds teamwork and communication and emphasizes core values. So just do a quick search on Pinterest and you're gonna have like 10,000 ideas that'll be like a 10 minute activity that you can do during a, during, during a practice to really up your team's game. There's also cooperation and gracious professionalism that are key to having a successful year, being able to compete, but also cooperate with the people that you're competing against and being a gracious winner, gracious loser, gracious young learner. That's you, all right? Uh, and then you can find uh, all kinds of stuff in, 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 in the engineering notebook and, and it's a really, really helpful tool. If you don't have one, ask your mentor for one, ask your coach for one. There's some online mentors, if you're watching this and uh, you can go on your first portal and, and click the uh, Thinkscape and it has all kinds of resources, a downloadable um, robot game rules, downloadable uh, interactive uh, engineering notebooks and team meeting guides for, for you. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in the engineering notebook and you can see me just kind of scrolling through it right now. Uh, I'm looking at it as, as we're talking. Um, but at the bottom, for project, how do you prepare for your project? There's some research stuff. There's some uh, problem and solution analysis where you can type in and record information. There's some sources where you found the information at because it's important to, to record where you get your information from. You can sketch some drawings, give some description. Okay, this is all helping you prepare for that judging session. And then here's how you ultimately prepare. And this is for all the judging sessions. This is for core values, this is for project, and this is for uh, robot design and engineering. Get people to ask you questions. Get your parents to ask you questions, grandparents, your, your, your principals, your teachers, your coaches, your, your uh, town council people, business owners around you. Um, get your, your, your uh, county commissioners, your state representatives, your, uh, anybody that, that you can share information with to get to ask you questions, have them ask you questions, but, but give them this first. Give them these rubrics and let them, let them judge you. 
that's how you practice being judged. Be judged. That's how you practice. So give them these. This is the core values. This is what the judges use in the judging room. This is what you get back at the end of a competition and with all kinds of marks and scores on it and, and notes on it. Have them rate you on how you did on discovery, innovation, inclusion, teamwork, fun. Have them come observe a, a practice and let them rate you on core values. Present your innovation project to them and have them say, oh, well, you can do a little bit better here. You can uh, have, provide some more uh, evidence from ideas across the team here. You did really good on a detailed modeling and, uh, model or drawing that helps share your solution. Uh, have them score you, have them judge you. These are their, this is why their first gives them to us, for us to invite people in and have them judge us for practice. It's gonna help your public speaking skills. It's gonna help your confidence. It's gonna help your communication as a team. It's gonna help your core values because you're, you're learning and you're, you're being conscious of those core values and you're, you're, you're being able to practice those. Here's the robot design judging rubric. Uh, whether you're, you're beginning to, to uh, meet uh, understanding or developing understanding, you've accomplished understanding, or maybe you exceed uh, understanding of how your robot works, the different types of mechanisms, where you got your ideas from, why you used the idea that you saw online somewhere, um, how your robot works, where the motors are, uh, how the gears work, how a rack and, if you've watched my rack and pinion video, how the rack and pinion works. I mean, these are all things that you need to know. Everybody on the team needs to know. When you walk into a judging room, everybody has to be on the same page. Everybody. From team member number one to team member number 10, if you have that many on your team. Everybody has to be on the same page. In the core values room, in the robot design room, and in the project judging room. Everybody has to be on the same page. And this is how you, this is how you practice. You practice, you practice with these rubrics, have people ask you questions, have people judge you. That's how you practice. That's how you develop those skills. So judging, that's my thoughts. Be, be judged, be judged. It's okay to have people come in, observe you, be, be judged. Mentors, get people in. Get people into your, into your uh, 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 meetings. Get people into your practices. Get people in and have your kids be judged. It's the only way to practice judging is to do it. Just like the only way to practice the robot game is to do it. So do it. But remember core values. They, they're, they're awesome. They're, they're, they're it. I'll see you guys in the next video.